Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I wanted to talk about um, the fun that we got to have over April Fool's Day and just kind of how to make this holiday pretty fun. Um, but first I wanted to give a quick update. Um, so in the last video I had let you know that um, I had COVID and um, Easter Sunday was actually my last um, day of quarantine and we thought that the kids would have to stay quarantined for longer since like they all tested negative um, but because it was my second time um, with it in two and a half months and all the kids had had it two and a half months ago they were within that um, three month window and so if you have had COVID in the past and you're exposed to someone with COVID if you don't show symptoms then you don't have to quarantine we didn't find that out until near the end, so they unfortunately um, just stayed quarantined with uh, with me. Uh, they had really wanted to like go to parks and all this stuff, and technically, I guess Peter could have taken them. But anyways, it is what it is. We are out of quarantine now. The best part about COVID is after it's done and you feel the rush of energy um, come back. And I definitely am thankful um, for good health. Uh, but going back to holidays, so growing up, my mom used to make holidays so much fun, even the obscure ones. Um, I can remember uh, one time for St. Patrick's Day, we had a green party and um, all my friends came over and whoever had the most green items, like got a prize or something like that. So like I had like my nails and toenails painted so that was like 20 items right there and I, it was just it was so fun um so it's been really cool um with uh this first foster placement that we have of a sibling group of three um ages uh, seven three and eight month old to kind of introduce them to some memories that i had growing up um, of holidays so we ended up getting um placed with them right after christmas and so there, there was a couple of christmas things up and so we still like went around and looked at lights and we made some christmas cookies actually i think we made those like end of january so we were like really far we just kept the uh holiday going and then for valentine's day we decorated cookies and for St. Patrick's Day, um, I had um, everyone wear green that day and I made sure at every meal to have something green. I think breakfast was like a green apple. I forget what lunch was. I think for dinner we had uh, broccoli. So something real simple. Um, but April Fool's Day was one of those holidays that as a kid I looked forward to so much um, because we had a special backwards dinner. Here's actually a picture of me with my older sister and younger brother. And yes, I had short, short hair. It looked like a boy. Um, but we were dressed up backwards. We call each other by our backwards names. So Lisa became Azel. Uh, Kristen, my sister, became Nitzirk. And my brother Matthew became Wetam. We introduced that actually to one of our good family friends when Peter and I lived in uh, Colorado um, who had younger kids and they have actually now kept up the tradition so it was super fun um, on April Fool's morning I got a text from my friend um, who now lives in Maryland and she said look my kids came, were so excited they came dressed backwards to the breakfast table I um, stayed up like way way too late on the 31st um, preparing um, and the reason I say it was too late is because I was, let's see, that was Wednesday. Tuesday, that Tuesday had been my worst day of COVID symptoms. And I really should have gotten to bed on Wednesday early, but I didn't get to bed till 11 because I had a lot of fun prep to do for the next day. So even though I was exhausted, um, I really wanted to make sure that we got to experience this backwards dinner. So this is what we did uh, for April Fool's Day. For breakfast, um, I made black bean cookies and we still had some Christmas M&Ms. I don't know how they lasted that long in the house. So I put those um, in the cookies just to give that extra touch of fun. And the funny thing is, is that A, the seven and a half year old does not like beans. 
I was so excited for her to try these cookies because I knew she would love them. And it was after her third cookie, after she had just said, I could eat these forever, that I told her that the main ingredient was black beans. I like the cookies. I love turkey oh, too. I have, forever. <laughs> I have it forever. Yeah. Guess what the main ingredient is? Sugar. Nope. But that's the main ingredient, actually. Actually, this has no sugar in it. It just has maple syrup as sugar. Chicken pizza meat. What's the main it's ingredient? It's about everybody. Thing? Salt. Oh, whoa, you barely, you were able to you barely would... eat it if the main ingredient was salt. Oh, I'd be, ugh. Oh. All right, ready for the main ingredient? Black beans. Black beans. Nani. I was upside down. I did not like that April Fool's joke. Oh, but you did. You, you love the cookies. The cookies. It yeah, tastes but so not good. the beans. I love black beans cookies. Yeah, so good. It's supposed to be funny. So this was pretty funny, wasn't it? No. <laughs> As she continues to eat it. And it was so funny to see her response because all of a sudden she was like, oh, gross, I don't like these anymore. Uh, but she kept eating them and was really excited the next couple of days um, to eat them uh, for, you know, dessert time. Um, and then for lunch, <laughs> this was one that I had got from my sister, um, was pouring jello into cups, sticking a straw in the cup, before letting it settle. So I had done that the night before and then by lunchtime it was completely set and gave them their strawberry juice. They went to drink it out of the straws and the seven and a half year old, like she quickly realized it was jello and she said, this is jello. And the three year old didn't quite register that so she just kept sipping and sipping and trying to get this juice up. It's strawberry. Mm. I like it. Mm. What's wrong? Thanks. Mm. Seriously? Not coming out? Because it's jello! <laughs> what? It's not juice? Honey, are you getting it yet? <laughs> you're not coming. <laughs> it's not coming. Wait, try again. <laughs> It's okay. Well, try to take the straw out. Drink it. Just drink it. Wait. Oh! See, what is it? Jello! Jello! Oh! Good thing you have a spoon, huh? Cool. Ah. You guys get ice cream. Ah. You guys got ice cream. Is that good? Yeah. It's just bananas and peanut butter. How about that? Doesn't that taste delicious, though? Not me, my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> and then came dinner. Gave us all name tags just so that I could say their names backwards because I can't think that fast in my head, so I had to have it written. So we called them by their backwards um, names at dinner, um, and we do the meal backwards. Uh, we end up having dessert first, and we pray last. We come to dinner with our clothes on backwards, um, so hoodies are a really fun thing to have because you can just um, put the um, hood over your face and then like you can put glasses in the back of your head. So dessert is what I am most proud of. This turned out so good. Um, growing up I think brownies was always what we had um, and with like ice cream or something like that and so you can always kind of change it up but this year I saw this video on YouTube um, from Emma's Goodies channel. I had stayed up super late um, that night making them. Peter saw me making green and yellow cake, but he never saw me put it together. So he did not know it either. So it was a surprise for him too. So I was about to come out with it and I said, hey girls, um, what is always the last thing that is done after dinner? Uh, we have started um, with a kind of um, teaching her how to do dishes and some things um, like that. Um, it's your week to do what? Dishes. Dishes. Right, so dishes are the very last thing that's done. So I 
bring out the sponge with the soap, which is just an egg white with um, sugar whipped up. And it's kind of like an under underdone meringue, and you put it on it, it looks like bubbles. They legit thought I was serving them a sponge for a split second. I mean, I don't think Peter thought that, but he thought it looked like pretty legit. What? No! 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 no <laughs> nice! Did you have to put soap on it? Yeah. <laughs> Eat up, guys. No! Woo, thank no, you. No! No! Yeah! You can't eat soap! You know, it's backwards. Look at that. That it's looks pretty backwards. good. That looks pretty yeah. legit. Yummy, yummy. Oh, Thank you, so Lisa. Is it done? Oh, it's so <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Here. This soap tastes good. Oh. Yeah. Tastes good? You can eat the soap. Oh! <laughs> Bubby, you can't eat it. Man, take it over. You can't eat it. Take it over. E Bub. E Bub. Good. How do you like it? I love this. So they thought it was the best thing ever and they kept like asking for sponge cake. They thought it was so funny. It was a lemon cake to me. It ended up turning out a little bit dry. I don't think I cut the butter in correctly, but uh, they still absolutely loved it and it was such a fun hit. Um, and then we ended up going to the main course, which was a carrot cake. Um, it was meatloaf um, in a cake pan. Do not put it in a cake pan that has a seam. I have this one cake pan that has a seam, so that way you can easily like take the outer ring off when the cake is done. Well, that does not work for meat because the meat ended up dripping out and created a huge mess in the oven that Peter ended up cleaning today and it took him an hour and a half to get it completely cleaned. So yeah, sorry about that, Peter. <laughs> so anyways, it was meatloaf, cake, and then the icing is mashed potatoes, um, then with shredded carrots on top, and they really enjoyed that. And then we, you serve like the meatloaf sauce, like ketchup, um, mustard, and brown sugar um, mixture up on the side. Then we had a salad. It was just a um, Greek salad, something different. The girls are really confused. They're like, there's no lettuce. And I'm like, right, it's a different kind of salad because it, it is, you know, a fun day. But they were like, there's no, there's no lettuce. You can't call this a salad. They were kind of confused by that. Then um, what we do last, oh, and then last we prayed. And that was it. The one thing I did fail on growing up, my mom used to always put like farm animals and jello. Um, for the meal or um, she would put like these play ants that we had from a like a picnic game and these ants um, she would freeze in ice cubes and I thought that's such a cute idea so we have this monkey balance game that teaches math so where you put like monkeys on one side and then you put um, a number on another and they're all weighted so it will balance out and I was like just thinking through like something super cute and like tiny that I could freeze in ice cubes and I picked these monkeys that have like, you know, they're painted on like faces and like bellies. Well, yeah, those started to like peel, um, like the face on them and they started to like get all warpy. Actually, I actually haven't tried it yet. I don't know if I totally screwed up the game because if like water got inside of these monkeys, if it doesn't evaporate properly, then they not, might not be the right weight, which means that the game may not work properly. So that was an error <laughs> that I did. Chalk it up to being exhausted um, from COVID. Um, I was I was pretty tired that day. By the end of the day, it was nonstop like going in the kitchen and it was super fun though. I would definitely do it again. I know at this point, April Fool's Day is a long ways away. Um, so maybe you just do something completely backwards and um, do a backwards dinner for the last day of April. Um, and then you can always keep this in mind um, for next April Fool's Day. Uh, so I hope that gives you some ideas. Let me know below what are some of your um, favorite like holiday hacks or just simple things um, to do with kiddos uh, for the next holidays coming up and also if you have any other good um, April Fool's ideas for like a backwards dinner uh, or just like fun food to, to make. Someone had given me the idea to put um, Brussels sprouts 
on a cake pop stick and then dip it in chocolate. So that may be something um, that happens next year uh, for whatever foster kiddos um, we may have in care then. Yeah, just something super fun. So thanks for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Keep up with all of our foster care update videos um, as well as the last remaining um, videos from travel. So I have had a couple people that have been super confused and I would be so confused as well when you are hearing about our foster care updates and then the next video I'm posting is from Chile in South America and you're like wait I thought you were fostering like how are you traveling? So my husband and I in 2017-2018 um, took a one year around the world trip to 62 countries and I filmed a video for every single day of travel. Um, long story short, because of a hard drive failure, because of just like everyday life when we got back, I am still editing um, the last couple of weeks of, of that year of travel. So any travel videos you see currently, it is um, from our one year of travel. Unless you're watching this video in, in like a year from now and then maybe we'll be traveling other places, I don't know. Um, but yeah, these earrings actually are from India um, when we had traveled to India. I absolutely love these earrings. They are just so gorgeous. We packed super minimally when we were traveling um, and so the thing that I did collect were earrings and so that's why I have a couple of fun earrings from different countries. So anyways, all I have to say, now we are in Indiana, um, fostering currently, um, just still working on finishing that last month of South America. So thanks for watching all our adventures and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. This is gonna be the best day ever. This is gonna be the best day ever.